Thanks for joining us on the John and Dola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk GAR boys basketball. Joining us is the head coach, Paul Brown. Well, uh, Paul, you come off a successful season, 17 and 10, and you have one of the best guys in the area back for you. His name is Isaiah Francis. Yeah, there's no doubt. Isaiah is one of the top players in the area. And, um, you know, to prove it all, you know, going into his senior year now, we just went through our tough exhibition schedule, which, as you know, is all quad A teams except for Abingdon Heights. And, um, you know, Isaiah at this point is our leading scorer, leading rebounder, and he's our leading assist man also. What is it about Isaiah's game that, uh, you know, makes him so dangerous? Is it his ability to do just a little bit of everything? I would say, yeah. I mean, he's a basketball player. He's about 6'3", six, 6'3 three, six, three and a half. He elevates above the rim. He's got a decent three-point shot. You know, we, we're working on that now. He probably hits about 50% of them, which is pretty good. But it's just his athleticism. I mean, offensive end of the floor and defensive end of the floor, he's just very active. When you go down the list here, obviously you got Francis, who's the lead guy, scoring. But you got to have some other guys that can play the, play the, the game, and, and you have some of those guys. Talk about your guard play first, Coach. Well, that's where it goes down to. After Isaiah, we have uh, James Holmes, our point guard, and we have Jalil Harvey. I mean, there's one, two, and three. They're our top scorers right now. They're both averaging double figures after our exhibition schedule. And um, like I said, James is the point guard. He's our leading assist man and also our best three-point shooter. And then you have Jalil Harvey, who plays a little bit inside-outside for us. And, you know, we put Isaiah on their best player defensively and if it's we have they have two best players, then Jalil Harvey gets the other one. Well, you got two other guys in the inside that uh, could play a little bit. You got the Francis kid and Greg Skripnak Jr. Tell us about those two players. Well, Najee Bu Francis, who's Isaiah's cousin, does an excellent job around the rim. Here's a kid that's improved so much from last year. I mean, he's learned to use the banking board very well. He's got a nice soft touch, can step away from the rim, you know, and shoot from the foul line. He's even banged down, you know, two or three threes for us this year. Puts a smile on his face. And uh, Greg Skrepnak comes off the bench. He's more of a bigger body. You know, Greg will go about six three and a half, and so he's got some weight on him. He goes about two hundred twenty pounds, and he's got good basketball skills, and he's very physical for us. Coach, when you talk about the uh, Wyoming Valley Conference, you, you mentioned going through the exhibition season and getting the looks you want. As the Wyoming Valley Conference starts this weekend, uh, we'll see what uh, what GAR is made of. Tell us about uh, what you're thinking about this year's schedule in the league. Well, the league, obviously, is the same as it was last year. The only difference is, you know, we lost our big guy in the pain, and the other, a lot of the other teams had everybody back. I mean, you know, I have Isaiah back and James Holmes back, and uh, the guys that are supporting them are getting got great experience in the exhibition season. I mean, like Lehman, you would think would be the tops with, you know, the two kids they have back, is and Borum, but, you know, you can't look past Redeemer. They got four starters back from last year, plus added a few players that can score, so they could be also be a big factor. I got to see Redeemer play twice, and uh, they have some quick guards and guys that could get streaky and play okay. They got a big guy in the middle, so uh, they have that potential as the season goes on to get better. Uh, when when AAA shakes out, Coach, it's going to be uh, very competitive uh, between uh, Crestwood you guys and Redeemer from the Wyoming Valley Conference, as you said, Lake Lehman, and maybe even Pitt Scenario has uh, has made a you know a couple of wins after a tough exhibition start, and then up in the Scranton way, Abington Heights and Scranton Prep have to be the two lead dogs up there, and and West Scranton uh, is no slouch. You know, every so often they'll they'll pull one off here and there too. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, you know, we look at our league initially, but then you have to look at it sometimes to see what's going on in districts. And as you said, with what Scranton's got going up there with Abington and, um, you know, West Scranton and Prep. And down here, you know, if I had to put my money on one team that I would say be playing in the state playoffs this year, I would say Crestwood would be there. I mean, with Mark Atherton there as a coach, I mean, he does an excellent job. And with all the experience he has coming back, plus the Casey kid, I mean, I think Crestwood's going to be very, very good this year. And that's the thing. I think uh, this year in District 2, uh, you look across the board, it will be very competitive. But uh, AAA, you would think we're going to get one or two of those teams to, to make a run. And, and J.R., you got to figure that you're one of those teams that could pull something out. It's, it's going to be very competitive, though. Oh, there's no doubt. You know, I don't lose faith in my kids. I mean, it's one of those things. You get a leader like Isaiah Francis on the floor. He can come up and do, you know, double points, double rebounds, double assists any night. I mean, the problem with Isaiah is I have to keep telling him, I want you to score more, but he's looking to pass. So depending on what other teams have set up for us, you know, Isaiah is going to be a big factor no matter who we play in AAA. 
Talking with Paul Brown here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Coach, if you had one word to describe your team this year, uh, is it athletic? Is it determined? Is it defensive? Uh, you know, is it quickness? What, what would you say would sum up the GAR Grenadiers? If I had to use one word, I would say we're unselfish. And I think that's what's helping us win a lot of games. Well, nobody likes uh, nobody likes an unselfish team more than the coach. That always uh, works out well. Getting the ball around to as many guys as you could and, and trying to win because that's what it's all about. Well, Coach, we wish you well this year. Good luck as the regular season starts. And uh, always great checking in with you, Paul Brown. All right, John, thanks for contacting us. We appreciate it. All right, that's Paul Brown here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.